And now, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? Science. Here you will learn about magnets, circuits, and electricity. Safety is very important when using electricity. Here's some things to remember. Do not do this without parent supervision. Never put your hand in an outlet. Never run in an open field during a storm. This is why. Never run in a under a tree during a storm. Please do not do this at home if you are four or under. P.S. Stay out of lightning. What's going on? This is Mr. Cook's class and you will learn about magnets, circuits, and electricity. Welcome to the center of the earth where science is discovered. We will teach you how to make an electromagnet. Wrap the white wire around the ribbon and put the battery in the battery holder. Put one end of the, of the white wire into the switch battery holder and the other end of the wire into the switch. Put one little wire on one side of the switch, put the other side in the battery holder. Now we'll use the washers to are the things that you need. You'll need a battery, a battery holder, little bulb, light bulb, bulb holder, and wires. That's it. Step one, put the battery in the battery holder. Wait. Step two, put the wires in the battery holder. Step three. Next, hook the wires in the light bulb holder. Four. Last, put the light bulb in the light bulb holder. Now you have made a lighted circuit. And I hope you enjoyed the lighted circuit. What's going on? Welcome to Science City, where magnets work. We will teach you about repel and attract. Magnets attract north and south. Magnets repel north and north. And repel south and south. We will we'll show, show you an example of a repelling and attracting on a pencil. See how we pull it up? When we pull it up, it starts to fly. Whoopsie. Goodbye, science citizens. What's going on? Now let's have fun with connectors and next layers. 
Conductors are pieces of metal that let electricity flow easily. Insulators don't let electricity flow easily. The first step is to hook the wires to the holders. The second step is to place the light and battery in their holders. The third step is to find conductors and insulators. The fourth step is to test the items. This does conduct. Rock. <laughs> this doesn't conduct. This will conduct. <laughs> this will conduct. Let's start. Let's try the bread now. No, let's try this. This will not conduct. Now a shiny nail. This will conduct. Now, a soda straw. <laughs> this will not conduct. That's, That's how, how conductors, conductors and insulators work. Adios, amigos! <laughs> 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 the Switch Circuit Group. We are in Mr. Cook's class. Our group will teach you about science. Together we will build a Switch Circuit. First take the battery and put it in the battery holder. Next take one wire and connect it to the battery holder and light bulb holder. Then take the light bulb and put it in the light bulb holder. Then take another wire and connect it to the switch and light bulb holder. Connect, connect the, the last wire to the battery holder and switch. That's how you build a switch circuit. Goodbye! Goodbye.